Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 framework tutorial. This is our part number 16. Inside this video, we will discuss about form validation using validate method. And also guys, if you are looking of the blog articles of KPHP 4, CodeIgniter 4, MySQL, WordPress, then you must visit this blogging website. Inside this blogging website, we have several categories with several interesting blog articles. If I back to browser, here is the website and inside this, you can find all about blog articles. Here we have a category drop down. Inside this, right now we have CodeIgniter 4 articles, WordPress articles, KPHP 4 and many more. Also, we have a section of create an article. This is for guest post publication. If you are interested to post any article with our community, just you need to click on that. Provide your details like author details and your blog post details. Rest, it will be submitted to the admin for the approval. Once it will be approved, automatically published inside this blogging website. Back to the topic, inside this video, we will see that form validation using validate method. Go here. So basically in Laravel, we do form validation in three different ways. By using validate method, what we are seeing inside this video. Next we will see about by making request validation class. And the third we have by creating manual validators. So step by step, we will discuss about each method inside this course. Now if I back to editor, in the last video, we have created a add a student form. And by the help of this form, also we have actually made a route that accept get and post request. And in the last video inside this controller, we have successfully received all the form data. Now let's say that. Right now, if I back to browser with this route, so here is the form like name, email and the mobile number. If suppose we fill any value inside these fields, click on submit. As we can see that we are taking only the name value. If I back here, let's say that instead of printing name, I am printing all the values. Again, reload this page. Put any value inside these fields and here are the values. But let's say that I'm not going to pass the value inside this name field, email field and mobile field. Click on submit and the form submitted successfully. But inside these attributes, we don't have any value. It is a invalid case. We need to actually create server side form validation so that we will not able to submit this form without empty values. So in this case, we will use validate method to actually implement or add server side validation with these form fields. Back to editor, go inside this controller because we are going to implement server side validation. Also we have in the alternative way, we have the option of client side validation where we will add some JavaScript or let's say jQuery plugins to validate this form at client side. But by using these methods what we have seen, we are going to actually add or implement server side validation. Back to editor, go inside this my form post request block of this student controller. So if I get rid of this print R line and here we will use validate method. So this validate method to use validate method actually we don't need to import any class because by default this request class takes care of this method. Now here inside this we will define an array and inside this array we need to pass key value pairs. Key indicates all about the name attribute of each field what we have taken inside this form and the value will define actually our validation rules. So in our form we have name, email and the mobile attribute. 
so what I will do first I am going to create our key so let's say name email and mobile next with each of the key we need to actually write our validation rules so instead of using this actually we have our request class instance is req so we need to use that save this file now error has gone so these are the keys means name attributes now in the next we need to pass our validation rules so the first validation we are going to implement as the required it means when we pass this required it indicates that the name value should be needed we can't able or we are not able to submit our form with empty name value so what I will do I will copy this rule and paste in front of each field because we want inside each field value now if we back to editor sorry browser reload this page and let's say if this time we are not passing any value click on submit form is not able to post it or submit it instead we are getting errors so how we will receive errors at our view file so back here automatically when we get any errors like after validating these fields like we have the required name email and the mobile it automatically redirects to this view file with errors so how we will receive errors simply go here we will use if directive and inside this if directive we have a predefined key for errors so let's errors we have any method if suppose this validate method had returned errors with field values so we will receive by the help of this errors key now go inside this block it means we have some errors so what I will do we are going to use our for each loop or let's say for each directive and for each and inside this we have again we are going to use errors and this time we have all method errors all is going to return all the errors what returned by this validate method now go inside this block so as this is simply error and let's wrap this for each I will re wrap all the actually errors into li tag so ul this is all about our error formatting so here we have ul and each error we will get inside this li so let's say we have li tag and inside this we will use curly pairs to print our values and here inside this simply write error now if you save all these changes back to browser and this time we are validating our form and I think we have some error that is undefined offset one back to our editor and here inside this code we have for each and actually we forgot to add this is and for each now if we save back to browser reload this page now we have form and let's say that this time we are not going to pass values again click on submit so this time we are getting our errors at our view file that is the name field is required email field is required and mobile field is required so in this case only we have implemented as required also we can actually add more rules let's say we want something the minimum value of name so here we have mean colon and let's say that here we need to pass our minimum length value so when we pass our name value inside input field we don't actually accept the value less than equal to 4 it means the minimum value of name field we want equals to 4 if I back to browser reload this page and let's say that this time we are going to pass this simple value and as we know that the minimum length we want equals to 4 click on submit the error has changed something the name must be at least four characters 
So this is the rule something required mean equals to 4 and also in the same way we can add max also the max length. Let's say we want something max equal to 20. It means the maximum characters we want equals to 20 for this name value. Go here, reload this page and if we pass the value something like this which is greater than 20 characters and we don't need to pass any value inside these click on submit and as we can see that the name error has been changed something the name may not be greater than 20 characters so this is all about the basic form validation using validate method right now we are not saving our form data inside our database table so in some cases let's say we are saving our data inside a database table so in that case we want that the email value should be unique it means at the first stage we have registered with the email address let's say abc at gmail.com and in the second form submission we will not able to submit that email id again so to restrict at server side we need to add a validation rule and it will be something unique and colon and then we need to pass the table name so let's say that these are the values means the form value we are saving inside a student's table so here while submitting the duplicate email it will check this validation rule by unique and students and inside this student's table we need to pass the column name it means we have created a table called students inside that students table we have the fields like name email and the mobile number so from this students table we need to tell application that we need to check from email field so to pass column name simply put comma here and then we need to pass the column name so this is our table from this table we are comparing from the email column that the email duplicate value and finally also we have implemented the required rule at this mobile section let's say that if someone entered mobile characters greater than 15 characters so how to restrict a user to enter a specific count value it means we want that the digits of mobile number should form 9 to 11 less than 9 or more than 11 digits we will have some error so to actually write our validation rule simply we need to write digits between colon and we need to write let's say minimum value 9 and the maximum digits we want something 11 digits now if we save and what I will do for now we are not saving our data inside table so get rid of that save these changes go here reload this page fill any value let's say this is only required and what will happen if someone enters this is mobile number and as we know that this is invalid means we want the digits between 9 to 11 so if we save click on submit and as we can see that we have some error that is the mobile must be between 9 and 11 digits so if we pass a valid value let's say that someone enters this value this is a dummy click on submit and form submitted successfully so after submitting form we are not receiving any output so let's say print our request and we are going to use all method so if we save go and reload this page if we have any errors clicking on submit without any value it means we have required error click on submit we have not printed any value instead we are getting errors but when we pass our valid values click on submit we are getting our value so this is all about guys to implement validate method form validation rules and at last one more thing that when we submit this form without any value we are getting all the errors at a single place but when we want these errors inside each specific field how can we do simply go inside this view file this is the syntax to print all the errors at a single place by using errors on all method so instead of printing 
all errors at once, we go inside here and let's say that simply we need to print the name error inside this field. So we need to use error directive. So at the rate error, we need to end this directive so it's error and here it will be and error and inside this error directive we need to pass the name attribute value so here we have the name copy pasting it here and inside this if suppose we have any error let's say span we have to define class equal to error and we need to actually print the error message so we need to use a variable called message so if suppose we have any error inside this name field we will print here inside this single place or we are going to print inside this because we have used error attribute or let's say directive so save all these changes go and reload this page click on submit and as we can see that here we are getting the name field is required and also we are getting the name field is required we can do the custom CSS on these above errors. How many available rules in our Laravel? So simply go inside laravel.com official website to see all the rules. Click on the documentation. Click on here the basics, validation and inside this we have a section called available validation rules if we click these are the available validation rules so right now we have used only few like required mean max digits between and unique you can add more validation rules so this is video guys all about validate method in the next video we will see some more different validation methods so for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.